I scavenged this magnetron from the old microwave. While I was reading up on how they worked, I came across an interesting piece of microwave oven history. All modern microwaves operate on a frequency of 2450 MHz, but this wasn't always the case. A huge range of frequencies could be used to cook food. Modern microwaves are the result of legal and social pressures influencing the design. In a conventional oven, the heat reaches the outside of the food first and then has to be conducted inward. Microwaves do what is called volumetric heating. The radiation penetrates the food and heats it internally. But there's a catch. The microwave radiation is absorbed by the outer layers of the food and so typically penetrates only 2 to 4 centimetres. Not a good enough reason to use the word penetrate. This is why microwave meals can be boiling on the outside and still frozen in the middle. The depth to which the microwaves penetrate the food is determined by the frequency of the radiation. Lower frequencies penetrate more deeply and so would cook the food more uniformly. So why can't I buy a lower frequency microwave that will cook food more evenly? The answer is history and the law of supply and demand. Because radio transmissions are so useful and important, governments regulate what frequencies can be used for what purpose. Frequencies are set aside for television, emergency services and for the military. Two frequencies left open for commercial applications are 915 MHz and 2450 MHz. 2450 MHz or 2.4 GIG is also used in Wi-Fi and many radio control systems. In the 1970s there were two competing designs of microwave, one from Raytheon using 2450 MHz and one from General Electric using 915 MHz. General Electric's microwaves could cook larger amounts of food more uniformly. 915 MHz penetrates five times deeper, which is good for cooking a large roast or for defrosting, but it won't cook something thin like bacon very well. Raytheon's design could cook small amounts of food more quickly. Consumers rarely used microwaves for cooking large batches of food. Instead, they were more often used by busy individuals for reheating small amounts of leftover food, something for which the Raytheon design, with its higher frequency, was better suited. General Electric's microwaves also had to be physically larger due to their lower frequency. General Electric discontinued their design leaving us with our modern Raytheon-derived units, perfectly suited to quickly reheating small amounts of food and to our busy lifestyles. <laughs>